and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Richard Reimer and Richard Diffenthal of Hogan Lovells. And we're at the Innovate Finance Global Summit 2017. Thank you both for joining me. Thanks. Thanks. What would you call out as the key developments in the international fintech industry and how does the role of fintech hubs play into this? Well, what we see in the German market um, are multi-channel uh, platforms. So, for example, like N26, it's a banking platform uh, distributing a, a whole of um, different uh, services. Uh, so, not only payments as initially, but also insurances and, and um, financial instrument um, managers. So, that is one key development? I think uh, an interesting thing is obviously financial services is a truly global industry and a lot of the new products and services that we're seeing have application to people across the entire world whether they're based in the UK, Europe, US or Asia and so the fact that regulators are talking together and forming these bridges can only be a good thing for the fintechs themselves because it's hopefully going to mean that there's some degree of consistency in terms of approach to uh, regulation. So do you see Brexit as having much of an impact on fintech? I think the fintech industry has been slightly shaken by the impact of Brexit and uh, exactly what that means for London uh, will, will obviously become clearer over the next couple of years. Uh, from my own perspective, I think that London is still a great place to come and set up a business, but obviously there are some additional challenges and no doubt there'll be increased competition from uh, other cities who are vying for the, the title of the leading fintech hub in the world. Yeah. As we heard this morning in the session, the um, <coughs> FCA said that uh, there are more um, applications for sandboxes post-Brexit than prior to Brexit. Um, from a German perspective, we would be delighted if some of, of, um, uh, of the players of the London markets uh, come over to, to Frankfurt, actually. And um, the city is quite keen uh, to develop uh, new hubs and, and uh, the industry is really um, hoping that some of the business come, comes to Frankfurt. I, I still think there's a lot of good reasons to be coming to London, though. We've obviously got you know, uh, a long history in financial services, in particular innovation in financial services, and clearly FinTech is, is riding that that wave of all the innovation that's gone before and we've still got customers and obviously a very progressive regulator and, and people and obviously talent and people are, are what build these great businesses. What do you see as the value of collaboration in the fintech space and is enough of it happening? I mean collaboration is um, key I think for um, having success. Um, uh, I think um, the, the um, collaboration have to lead to interoperable um, solutions um, so it's certainly um, or we see that more and more at fintechs that they have to be open to banks on one hand to the customer on the other hand and also to other fintechs so um, and the data flow needs to work and I think this is the key for for a successful business case. I think that customers are going to demand that as well. They're going to want products and services that, that talk to one another, communicate with one another. It's no good just developing you know, pure siloed platforms that don't interoperate, as Richard says. I think the, uh, some of the initiatives in the UK around open banking in that regard uh, are, are tremendously helpful. I think that we'll see a, a whole raft of um, exciting innovation in this space. Um, but yeah, interoperability and ease of use in terms of how that information flows whilst maintaining confidentiality and privacy and complying with GDPR. Is the fintech train starting to slow or is there still untapped fintech potential? I, I, I think that it's, it's still very early days for fintech and, and if anything the momentum is just continuing to build. It's no longer isolated to a few particular pockets globally. It's, um, it's, 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 it's spreading everywhere and I think that more and more people will, will be excited about the opportunities that fintech and, it, and, and, and for innovation in this space. Yeah, I'm, I totally agree. I think we are more at the beginning of something than uh, already at a break even or something. So um, I, I really believe uh, that we will have a, a strong further development increasing market in particular in continental Europe. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much indeed. Absolute pleasure to be here.
and thank you for watching.